assalamu alaikum i am advocate shahla javed and today my topic is eobi eobi means employees old age benefit institution the main purpose and objective of this institution is to provide pensionary benefits to the employees at the end of service as you know that the government servant they have pension and uh, the big organization multinational company and uh, they they normally have gratuity provident fund and other monetary schemes but the small organization and uh, industry they usually don't have any such kind of scheme so for the welfare and protection of uh, those employees uh, who are working in that industry where they do not have any such kind of pensionary benefit so the state through legislature have made compulsory for such organization to register their employees for pensionary benefit so that the employees can have better protection for monetary benefit at the end of their employment so eobi is uh, the basically it safeguards the uh, monetary benefits of employees at the end of their services before the uh, sen eobi act the uh, federal law eobi act 1976 was in field but uh, after the 18th amendment the power to make legislation in field of labor laws have been transferred to the provinces now all the provinces are competent to make their own laws individually now sindh has promulgated his own eobi act sin eobi act 2014 which is effective from july 2014 and it applies to all the industrial and commercial establishments it is applicable to all those industrial and commercial establishment where the number of employees are 5 or more than 5 and even the industry which have they can voluntarily uh, they can voluntarily be the become the contributor for uh, getting the pensionary benefit and uh, to get the pensionary benefit from eobi uh, there are certain rate of contribution which the uh, which must be paid and uh, the according to the sin eobi act the employer will pay the contribution at the rate of 5% of wage and employee will pay the contribution at the rate of 1% of his wage so the what are those benefits uh, which uh, after uh, uh, the persons who who paid their contribution they are called insured persons so what kind of benefits they can get after this uh, payment or after this contribution so the uh, scheme provides certain benefits and the first uh, benefit is old age pension upon their retirement or at the end of their services so the as far as the men are concerned when they attain the age of 60 years they are entitled to get uh, old age pension and as far as the women are concerned they are entitled to get the uh, old age pension at the age of 55 years and the second uh, benefit is invalidity pension the persons in case of permanent disability they are uh, entitled uh, for the uh, invalidity pension and the third benefit is old age grant the persons uh, who the person who does not fulfill the criteria for old age pension 
so he can be entitled or he is eligible to get old age grant and the fourth benefit of this uh, uh, eobi contribution you can get is the survivors pension and uh, what is the survivor pension uh, upon the death of insured employee his widow or uh, widower or uh, the children cases the parents of uh, the insured person who is expired they are entitled to get the survivors pension so this law is very uh, beneficial for the uh, employees they can get uh, monthly pension uh, and uh, other benefits and uh, it is uh, uh, compulsory it is obligatory that uh, the employer of uh, the organization or industry they have to register their uh, institution they have to register their employees to uh, eobi and uh, if he is not uh, uh paying your contribution so it is the duty of employees that uh, they must uh, raise their voices and uh, i always say that uh, you have to fight for your rights no one is going to fight for you it's no right uh, you cannot claim a right without a duty so it is your duty that if your employer is not paying the contribution so you have to negotiate you have to raise voice you have to fight for your right and uh, you can easily get the pensionary benefit from eobi act so uh, i hope uh, this uh, is going to be quite informative for you if there is any question you can ask me in comment box thank you for watching